Of course, after I woke up, they showed me a picture and said, this is a polyp, but it was not cancerous. And it was removed. So you don't have to worry about coming back for this procedure for three years. But the thing that astonished me was that when I went into the room where the procedure took place, they put me to sleep. The anesthesiologist said, I, I just want you to take about three deep breaths. And I remember one, and I remember two. And the next thing I knew, I woke up in recovery. The procedure was over. Now see, sometimes the enemy, he doesn't understand what's going on at certain seasons in our life. But I wish you'd just tell somebody, you may not know what God's doing with me. But, but I've been through the surgery. I, I've been through all that the enemy could do. I'm in recovery.
Today, that is lost in their sins. Sinner want to be saved. My God, this is your opportunity. If you never confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is your opportunity. Step out in front of the nearest aisle and come down front. Backslide about. If you will backslide this morning. There's nowhere in the world. I arrest you in the name of Jesus that you ought to come forward and reclaim your salvation. If you know this is where the Lord is placing you under this ministry, under the Bishop G.E. Palace, come out from among that cold place and cross over. Come over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. I'm going to ask that everyone stand. Ask that every one that's able to stand on your feet. We're gonna let you go in just a minute. Now why everybody's standing, if you know you're in one of those three categories, if you know you're not saved, you're not under the blood, if you died right now, in your, in your mind, you're saying you don't know where you would go. That's your category, you're a sinner. Don't stay a sinner. Come give your life to Jesus Christ. He loves you. Doesn't matter what you've done, if you come and ask him for forgiveness, he is faithful and will forgive you. He's able to keep you from falling and present you faultless. Hallelujah. If you're a backslider, you once had fellowship with the Lord, but you turned away from God. God didn't turn away from you. You can eat some, be reclaimed so easily. Just come back and give your life to the, to the Lord. He loves you. If you know this is what God is placing you in this ministry, at Temple of Deliverance on the Bishop G.E. Palace. You need to come. Now, if you fit in one of those three categories, you remain standing. Everyone else may be seated. If you're saved, be seated. But if you're a backslider, if you're a sinner, or you want to join this ministry, remain standing by faith. Praise God, my sister. Now, do the second thing and step out from among that hour and come forward. Say she ought to be praising God now. Hallelujah. Bless you, my brother. Bless you, my brother. You may have sitting down and knowing you should be down here right now. Before I ask pastoral sister and elder Billy Mackin to come and shake these person's hand. It's not too late. It's not too late. Come. Obey the voice of the Lord and come. Hallelujah. Are you coming? Don't walk back out here like you came. Are you coming? Well, praise God. Follow the elder to my left, elder Wiggins Alexander and elder Jefferson. Give God some praise, thanks. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We was talking to Minister Plummer yesterday in the leadership breakfast, and we was serious, but we were saying in a joking way, he's back. Our pastor's back. Hallelujah. Continue to pray for our pastor, our leader, to give him strength. It is now time for the ministry of giving. Ask that you, if you need an envelope, to elevate your hand, and the nearest deacon or usher will supply you with an envelope. 